Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your boy BQ. This is the Impact Lounge. I recorded an audio just a couple of days ago where I was explaining that I'm going to be doing short bits uh, talking about and reviewing the Impact Digital exclusive matches and the BTI matches. I'm fully aware this isn't going to be the most popular piece of content on this channel, but it's just getting me in the habit of creating again and uh, trying to make time and kick it so I can kick things up a notch in 2022 so it's not strictly a podcast channel anymore you feel me on that so I did something the other day and I was talking about uh, John Schuyler versus Brian Myers this time we're going to talk about uh, the debut that's not the debut but the official debut as a contracted member of the roster Lady Frost versus Kimberly of the Undead Undead Bridesmaids where the hell is Sue Young? I'm going to imagine she's injured. Some of you may know the answer to that question. I don't really know. So let's talk first of all. We're going to get into Frost in a second. Let's talk Kimberly. Let's talk this gimmick. I want to say I got to give props. Kimberly and Brandy Loren, as the weeks passed, are becoming more comfortable with the gimmick. It's hard to to don such a big, to take such a big role, you know, to, to, to don the face paint, the, the outfits, because... Sue Young is committed 1,000% to this character. It, it is her. You know what I mean? And for Kimberly and Brandy Loren, at first they were just girls in makeup. But it seems like as the time passes, they're, uh, they're giving a lot more... I don't want to say giving more effort. Uh, they, they've been giving effort, but they're just... They're understanding the role. They're understanding what they got to do uh, to be different, to make it work. And for the most part, anything with the Undead's bride, Undead Bridesmaids have been them in an enhancement role. Uh, they don't. They lasted oddly long in the Call Your Shot gauntlet. Uh, not the actual gauntlet itself, but the one where they were deciding who was going to be 1 in th 20. Uh, they, they lasted really long in that for some reason. But other than that, their matches aren't too long. Let's talk Lady Frost here for a second. I don't say this lightly. There's some people podcasters and content creators that they're like oh this guy is a star this girl's a star they're going to be a star and they don't really have that it they don't have that star quality they just might be good in the ring or something along those lines so you know you don't you rarely hear me say yo this person is a star right here lady frost is a freaking star i've been saying that for a little while uh i've of course been saying for those of you who listen to me on a regular basis that she serves better in a heel role in my opinion but after watching this match, I can see why she's a baby face with impact. It just it just works. And, you know, she had this match at the end. She was emotional and all that good stuff. Um, hopefully they bring, bring her uh, Savage Gentleman husband on pretty pretty uh, soon. Uh, dude's built like a shit brick house. I think he's a shoot MMA fighter or he's shoot MMA trained, something along those lines. Um, but he's really talented, too. Um but as far uh, Victor Benjamin is the name, but as far as Lady Frost, you know, absolute star in the making. I'm really glad they brought her on board. When that whole knockouts knockdown thing happened, everyone like, yo, we need Lady Frost. And I knew she was doing some really good work in NWA. And I've said this too. I was really disappointed when they brought her on to take on Deanna Perrazzo because like if you're just gonna have you know, a girl come in and essentially just kind of do do a job to the champion. Like, bring in, lo bring in, you know, Tits McGee local talent. You know what I mean? Don't bring in, you know, Lady Frost and then have her get a couple moves of offense in. Y you feel me on that? So, I was kind of disappointed with that. But, um, this is just someone, uh, star quality is insane. Uh, she's got in, in, a, in a world where it's kind of hard to come up with unique anything. You know, because it's all been done. It doesn't matter what your genre it is, genre is. It's all been done before, and um, she has a very uh, unique look. And I met her at NWA at the um, after Empower at the uh, meet and greet and everything. So there was there was all sorts of autographs and pictures we were trying to take, and it was getting pretty close to the end. And um, I would say there was half an hour to go in it, and Lady Frost packed it up. And she left. I'm like, shit. Because that was someone I really uh, wanted to meet. But, you know, sometimes you see a line at one table, see a line, no line at the next. And, you know, you just bounce around. And I just never quite, I never made it to her and Awesome Kong, which I'll never hold, <laughs> never forgive myself for that one. But um, I eventually 
saw her walking. She was she was done with her table. She was just walking. I think she was holding a bubble tea or something along those lines, boba tea, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I, you know, I said, "Hey, Frost, can I can I get a picture?" And I and um, she go, "Oh, I thought everyone was done. You know, I, I thought, you know, whatever." And uh, I said, "Yeah." And I, I tried to give her twenty bucks um, for the photo, and she she denied it. You know, she's like, "No, I'll I'll just take the picture." So she was super cool. Uh, I'm gonna make sure here pretty soon. I buy one of her T-shirts. That way, I can I can return the favor because uh, you know she did a solid for me. Took a picture when she wasn't in an official capacity, and uh, you know she don't have to take free pictures, you know, for me. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna pick up a shirt soon. But the match, um, I enjoyed it quite a bit. I haven't been watching BTI. Uh, I've watched one or two episodes. I don't care for 90% of the content on that show. I don't care about recaps. I don't. I mean, this this show, lo this company loves their recaps and and clips and all that shit. Like I don't care. I just want original content. So uh, the couple times I do watch it, I'll I'll go to the BTI match, and um, really enjoy this. They got time. Kimberly was not out there, you know, jobbing, quote unquote, using an insider term. You know, she was out there uh, really doing her thing and showing because she she's very talented in the ring. And I always say in Impact, no one looks better in a loss than Kimberly. That's you know, personal opinion of mine. Um, Kimberly had a stalling. Suplex at one point, British Bulldog style, where she was she held Lady Frost up for about five seconds. I was blown away. I was impressed. I work out. I go to the gym. I've been working out for like ten years now. I don't know that I could hold my six year old like uh, six year old, my eight year old like that in a, in the suplex. You know what I mean? I surely couldn't hold my my uh, thirteen year old. You know, so I'm always that's a, the suplex is always something that really impresses me how they um, actually pull that off, but. She just um, the both girls looked really good here. This is a great debut. Um, you know, it wasn't her official debut, but as far as a contracted member of the roster, she's got a great look, great music, great entrance, everything. Uh, when you know when they were interviewing her backstage later, you you guys know how I feel about the overload of red that Impact likes to hit you with. Um, I just felt it would, looked weird in the episode of Impact when they were interviewing her backstage with the red background, like with her gimmick. They should they should make that shit gray or some shade of blue or something like that so it just ties into her you know what i mean like you, you can't be uh cool this cool that and then you got this like hot like fire lava background you feel me on that so um her finisher i thought she was gonna do a moonsault because i've seen her do that lots of times uh this thing is like close to the damn black arrow you know what i mean like it's uh it's so impressive for for anybody to do that she just looked great. She was emotional. Like you could tell she wants to be there. The knockouts division is just in a great place right now. And this is this is one of the, you know, they talk about the pillars in AEW. Like this is someone who needs to be a pillar uh, for the knockouts division. And we're going to see her in the Ultimate X match. So super excited about that. Very jazzed about it. So let me know your thoughts in the comments about Lady Frost versus Kimberly on BTI. I am your boy BQ. I'm out. Peace.